Do you know how close I was to getting sacked last time? Kane's gonna hit the roof. I didn't do it. Put the cart back and I'll keep my mouth shut. Well, I'll have a job since I don't know where it is. So what, are you and Charlie just doing it on your own now? Have you got a new place for it? No, cos we've quit. Moira was in hospital all last night. Moira? Why? Car accident. Is it bad? A few cuts and bruises, but she'll be all right. But the point is, Kane's ready to batter someone. Oh, I'll batter you in a minute. Where is the car, Ross? <laughs> if I had nicked your little car, would I be slobbing round here? Don't you think I'd be a little bit busy? So what are you saying? It's actually been nicked? Yeah, it's actually been nicked. I can visit her grave if I want. I've said you couldn't. Yeah, so what's with the evils, then? I'm about to go and collect her and bring her off for dinner. Oh, thanks for sharing. You can come and have a sandwich with us if you want. <laughs> you want to have dinner with me? April does. I mean, she doesn't know I've asked you yet, but she keeps going on about seeing you. Right. Of course, if I had my way, she'd never set eyes on you again, but I don't think Donna would have seen it like that. No, I swear if it's her. April feels this ten times harder than either of us could. You might want to think about what that's like. Anyway, we'll be there for an hour or so. You do what you want. Can we go see Mummy's light? Well, we need to get back to school soon. Why did you come get me, then? I just thought we should make friends, that's all. I am your friend. Proper friends. No more grumpy guts. Yep. Well, I suppose we could squeeze in a quick walk, couldn't we? That was someone at the door. I know. Come in! Ross! I thought I might have missed you. Well, you're late. I need to take a bike. Right now? I want to stay with Ross. Well, I suppose we could ring him, tell him something's come up, eh? Yay! Great. Daddy made upside down spaghetti. It's just spaghetti on toast turned upside down. Well, you surprised me. The thing is, I'd love to stay in all, but I only came round to drop this off. Right. OK. The thing is, we don't normally let her have the fizzy drinks because of the e-numbers and the caffeine. Oh, right. Well, then, I probably shouldn't have bought you these. Can we have them? One. OK, so long as you stick the rest in the cupboard and share them with Arthur. <laughs> right, well, that's me. I won't keep you. What? You're going already? Come round, you said. So I did. For about 30 seconds? Hold on. Yesterday, you wouldn't wipe me off your shoe. Now I'm your new Bezzy. I've told you, this isn't about what I think. You can give her five minutes, can't you? To do what? Tell her fairy tales about what a great cop her mum was. Play with her. Do a drawing. Do a drawing. Well, I don't know. I'm as in the dark here as you are. Do you want to watch Frozen with me? Bit of a chick flick, isn't it? How, how about something a bit shorter? Dressing up. I thought you didn't want to use your dressing up box anymore, sweetheart. Ross is different. You'll still be here when I get back, won't you? What'd you take me for? You sure it was him? He admitted it. Yeah, well, so would Edna if my dad threatened to strangle her. Where is he now? I'm loading Zach's shotgun knowing him. Oh, and you didn't think to stop him? What, have him turn on me? Now you're right, thanks. Well, we can't go up there. We're supposed to be in court in half an hour. Babe, you're not even ready. What are you doing? No need. It was my solicitor. Dropping all the charges. What? How come? No, I did. He just said, let me go. Oh, my <sighs> God, that's amazing. So go on, who have you had to pay off? That's just it. I didn't. You don't think your mum came good, do you? No. Mum don't do coming good. Bales must have been bluffing. 